Hello, I realize it has been almost a month since I last uh, recorded a message for my YouTube channel about my breast cancer journey. So I wanted to come on and give a little update about where things are at and what's happening next, just to keep everybody up to date. And I realized it's been a while because I started to get a few messages asking how I was. So I apologize for that. Um, the month, last month has gone by really, really quickly. So I am doing very, very well right now, and I have healed very well. Um, I had last left off that I was waiting to hear back from the gynecologist as to when I would go in and have my surgery to get my total hysterectomy, um, plus my ovaries and my tubes removed. So just as a reminder, my cancer, um, the tumors were hormone fed. So I'm on a hormone blocker pill for the next 10 years. I also started taking shots, um, this was all back in April, taking shots to suppress my ovaries so that I would not have that hormone um, in my body until I could get my ovaries taken out um, for the shot piece. So um, I go in, I was originally going to have uh, scheduled surgery mid-August and ended up changing that because I talked to my plastic surgeon as well and I'm going to do another reconstruction. Um, my breasts are, they look great. <laughs> They're not me. Um, and that might only be for breast cancer survivors may understand that as well. Um, so looking to do a little bit more work and that um, as of right now, we're looking at that to be a little bit more fat grafting the skin between my implant and the outside part of my breast is very, very thin. And I can see some rippling on the top piece, but I can just, it's, it's very, very thin. It makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. So we're gonna take some fat and um, put that, um, have him inject that in. This is the plan as of right now have him inject that in to build up that barrier between the implant and my skin to make that thicker, as well as to add a little bit more size. Um, I'm a lot smaller than I was before. I don't wanna go back to the size I was before. That was way too big uh, for me. And, um, but it's a lot smaller and it, it just feels very weird to say that. I am thankful to be alive and grateful to be alive. Um, it just feels, it's very weird to me. It's very foreign to me. Um, so I'm hoping adding fat and building up the skin as well as building up a little bit more on the size um, will make me feel a little bit more me. Um, if any of that makes sense. I don't know. It's just very, very weird to, to talk about and say that um, because I am extremely grateful to be alive. It's, I don't know, it's just weird. So um, in addition to the hysterectomy, I am able to actually have both surgeries in the same surgery. So I won't have to wait and then heal and then you know go back later in the year to have um, a second surgery done. So both of the surgeons were able to find a date and September 2nd is the date that I will go in um, to the hospital and have both of the surgeries done. They'll do the hysterectomy and take all that stuff out first. And then the surgeon will come in and do his piece of the work. They have not said I would stay the night. They said I would be on a 24 hour like hold or watch, like typically on the surgery floor, which or the where they put people from surgery. So it reminds me, it reminds me of when I did my double mastectomy and I was on the floor. Um, and basically it's overnight. Likely because of the pandemic, I may not be able to have anybody with me. I'm okay okay with that. Um, I imagine that this, like my double mastectomy, I'll be in pain. Um, so be hopefully popped up on some pain pills or something um, when I come out of that surgery. Uh, unlike thankfully in May when I did my exchange of the expanders to the implants, that was very, very quick and easy surgery, outpatient, everything like that. Not a whole lot of pain. So um, a little nervous about it, uh, but excited and knowing that it is the last surgery I'll have to have, hopefully for a while, um, at least for this year, as far as I know, and knock on wood here. And um, 
so just a little bit nervous, uh, but very excited to get moving and get going. And I'm trying to prepare things at work and with teaching and everything um, so that I will be in a very good place um, when I go into surgery. So I will be out of the office uh, for my full-time job probably for three weeks. Uh, when I was did my last video, I said I did not want to fill out the short-term paperwork. I've read where more people than I realized, I guess, have had some situations where something happened in their recovery and they needed to extend for like a week or two. So as a result of that, and to be cautious, I am going to be filling out that paperwork and taking the week of vacation and then going into the short-term disability so that I am protected if something were to happen, you know, hopefully again, nothing goes wrong and everything uh, heals nicely, but um, just to be protected there. So um, I think that is it for now. Um, I go, I actually go tomorrow, not tomorrow, Monday in two days, I will go to see the plastic surgeon for my prep before the surgery. And uh, we will talk about and make sure that uh, fat grafting is the way to go. So we had talked about two options before. Um, one was to either do the fat grafting to help build up the skin and add to the size or to take out the implants I have, put in a little bit bigger implant and do some fat grafting to add to the skin. The less invasive would be to just do the fat grafting to, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Um, but I want to see when I talk to him and, and we talk through it, uh, if he still agrees with that or um, if we go the other route. So um, if anything changes, you know, I'll jump on and, and give people some more insight. But I think that's where things are at now. I am feeling very, very good. I can actually sleep on my side. So as of the last couple of weeks, I have been able to sleep on my left side. I had said before, um, my right side, there's something with the skin on my hip, which is so weird. It feels like it's a lot thinner on my right side for some reason. So it hurts more to lay on that side. Um, so I have done some laying on my left side. It does not hurt my chest um, before it kind of hurt a little bit more. And um, so I will lay usually part of the night on my back and then part on my side. And I'm trying to think my back, thankfully my back doesn't hurt near as much as it did um, before. And I even had a shot, uh, my Lupron shot for the ovary suppression Wednesday. I went Wednesday, this past Wednesday afternoon to get that. And typically the days leading up to it or the days after, or even that night of, I am, my back is hurting really bad and I'm usually wiped out the day of. That wasn't the case this time. And I kind of think it's, I think I was a week early getting the shot this time um, than I have been before. So I, it probably got caught before it started to happen. Um, so I go in another month to get that shot. And then a couple weeks later is when I'll have the surgery. So yeah, that's right. A, a week or so after that. 